Hi guys, my seat just broke. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited about this video because I'm going to be giving you a studio tour. Now keep in mind, the studio is a working space, so it normally never looks like this. I cleaned it specifically to show you guys. So it's very nice and clean. It's organized, but I mean, not like super duper organized. It's it's decently organized. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like right now. Uh, I'm really excited for the future because I'm actually going to be moving into a larger studio space, which is why I kind of wanted to document showcasing this studio because it it's sentimental to my heart so yeah let's show you the studio so this is what you see when you first walk into the studio it's all nice and clean i even put the christmas tree for you know ambiance i'm watching the big short right now while i was doing some orders before i hit record and yeah if you haven't seen the big short it's so good it's about the housing crisis, whatever. So this is what you see. I don't know where to start. Hey, hey guys. So this is what it's like on this wall. There's a mirror, the door, a uh, little photo station. This is main storage for stuff. This isn't super organized. It could be a little bit better, betterly, betterly, better organized, but it does the job. And then we have our main working space. And then we have the main desk area, which is where all the design actually happens. So design happens here, production happens here. Uh, we have the Glowforge and all of the materials and then a miscellaneous arts and crafts cabinets. And then we also have the heat press over here. So I'm gonna start, I guess I'll start with the photo station. So this photo station, is something that I made. This is just one of those fold out tables that you can get from Home Depot. And then we put this, it's not even a tablecloth, it's like this faux leather. I'm not really even sure what it was, but my mom bought it, it's like nice and white. And so we started using that because it's, it's you can wash it pretty easily. So if, like a tablecloth, you would have to put it in the washer and dryer. We don't have to because this is easily washable and everything. These are actually two signs that I'm going to be putting on the shop. And this is a welcome sign with 3D acrylic letters. I think it came out so good. And then this is going to be marketed as a uh, wedding guest book. So obviously at your wedding or at a family function or at any kind of function, like a bar mitzvah, a sweet 16, people attending can write a sweet little message to it. And then this is 3D acrylic letters in black. So I think it came out so cute. And then what I did was I took a curtain rod. I just took the, these curtains are actually from my wedding that I used. I'll pop a picture right here of what I used them for. I used them for a backdrop behind the sweetheart table. So they're super duper long, but I wanted some kind of photo station that was always there so that if I made something, I could easily just take a picture because this is a working space. So normally there's a lot of, you know, stuff around that might not be something that you want in the background of a picture. So that's why I made this little photo station. Uh, and then I used to just have the curtains, but it started to be a little too white on white on white, which is like basically this home room. So I got this faux greenery from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It was in a package of six. And then I just, you know, I just hung them up with thumbtacks because there's like these little holes that you can just put a thumbtack and hang it up. So it goes to like, the greenery goes to a little bit below the table, so it looks like it's all the way up the wall, and it also stops right here. So I can either have the curtains and have that be the backdrop, or I can have the greenery be the backdrop. Let me lighten, let me, there we go. Let me lighten this a little bit so you can see better. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. We also are going to be putting these on the shop, which is our acrylic card boxes. And they are just with the regular lid on top and it's just gonna say cards and then thank you on top. This box is resin and epoxy that I got from Total Boat. Thank you Total Boat for sending this to me. I still need to uh, test it out and try everything. I just haven't really had time, so I'm going to do that. This 
yellow. This is a mirror that I bought for wedding rentals. So I'm gonna be getting into wedding rentals after the holiday season. I do have something on my website for rentals and that's rentals in the New England area because I am in Boston, Massachusetts. So anywhere like, you know, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, anywhere that you want to rent, you can either come pick up or we'll come and ship it. So I have been on the lookout for mirrors. So I've been getting these mirrors at, um, these two are from an auction. I went to an auction with my mother-in-law. I have a few down in the basement and then this one's from Facebook Marketplace. So I've just been on the hunt for cool, unique mirrors because this could be a seating chart. You could write on it, have it be a seating chart. It could be a welcome sign. So I want to get into rentals. I also have some lanterns um, hanging around here for rentals. Slowly, I'm going to build up my rental category, if that makes sense. I have my TV. I have a little cheap um, laptop that I hook up to the TV so I can watch, you know, movies, TV shows while I'm working because I can't work in silence. It, it, or as long as I have music, some kind of music, TV show, something in the background, it just soothes me a little bit more. Uh, I have my Christmas tree, which we will be getting rid of after Christmas. This is actually one of my orders that I'm shipping out. It's a golden doodle Christmas ornament. Uh, the doodle is named Jax. And yeah, I just put those on the shop this year and they have been a great success. So uh, I need to ship that out. It is Sunday. I wanted to take a few pictures of it before I shipped it out. So that's why it's on the tree. And then we have some miscellaneous wood that I am you, uh, eventually going to be using for possible products. It will be coming up soon, but it's just been so cold and I've had a lot of orders to do that I haven't gotten around to it. Don't you hate, don't you hate as a creative? I do this all the time. I don't know, let me know if you guys do it, but what I do is I buy the materials and I'm like, all right, I have this idea, I have this idea, and then I get sidetracked, or I have too many orders, or something going on in the like in just normal life, like someone's having a baby. It just, it it slips through the cracks, and then you're like, oh wait, I forgot about this. So I try to put it in my way. I try to put the materials in my way. That way, I think, okay, Alexa, that you have to get to, you have to use. So I try to put it somewhere that I can see it because I'm a very out of sight, out of mind person. So if it's out of sight, I forget about it. So that is why they're, <laughs> that's why they're sitting right there. Um, then let's go into the main desk area. So let's start on top. So we got this laser printer that I actually got for Christmas. Nick got it for Christmas for our first year married. Very romantic, but it's what I asked for. I wanted a laser printer um, because I wanted to start getting into foiling. And that is why I have a mink machine to foil cards or anything like that. So this would be foiling. So foiling cards or um, stickers or anything of that sort. So you would you would how you do it is you buy a laser printer the laser printer uses heat to put ink on the page you put this foil on and the foil attaches to the ink because it's heated you put it in this which is just like a glorified laminator pretty much and you put it in and then you peel off the foil and then this is what you're left with a foiled card or foiled card or stickers. I still have spray paint under my nail. If you can see that it's green. I've been, I was spray painting a green sign the other day. Then above the printer, we have these two whiteboards, weekly to do, which I never use and the vinyl inventory, which I actually use quite frequently. I need to figure out a better, what I should write here, but you know, I have a nice little ring light just in case I do any YouTube videos here while I'm sitting just so I can have some light here because obviously you can see there's no light and the light bulb is broken, which is why I have these, these things. So yeah, that's fun. And over here I have miscellaneous cards, just random things that, uh, I have little, little books that I was going to make into vow books. 
I have sparkly uh, paper just if I just in case I want that as a background for any um, for any product photos so you kind of put it like right there you'll have your product down below like let's say hypothetically I wanted to do these scissors as sorry I can't as a product photo you would put that and then you would take a photo like this and then cut off the sides of it so it looks just really nice but that is what that piece of paper is for I have all my foils as you can see I have my foils as you can see I have some business cards I have my uh, Canon 70D which is what I use for all my product photos but you can also sometimes I just use an iPhone just because either the battery is dead or you know you know things happen I have this random thing for my um, laptop charger uh, a tape measure a USB cord this is for the Glowforge I'm still not really sure what this is for but I keep it just because I want to make sure I have it thumbtacks more pencils um, tissues this Dymo uh, printer which is great for printing labels on the fly if I need to print anything that just needs to be mailed I have my Mac computer, which is shamelessly on the quinnandcompany.com, link down below. Um, I have this pegboard, uh, which is really nice, really handy, which is where I keep all of my Cricut sticky boards, some tape. It just keeps things really organized and out of the way so that you can just easily grab it. Uh, I have a scraper, some rulers, transfer tape, and then this little saying that says, dream until your dreams come true stand by that statement and then we got my two silhouettes everyone asks about this this is just a shoe rack from target they have it it was ten dollars and it it's perfect for any silhouette or cricket if you have more than one i just taped the lid up i mean it's not the best job but it does the job and then we have some um tools that i use in order to keep lines straight when i'm putting vinyl on certain projects I have my glow forge which is a new purchase last year I absolutely love it it's very dirty I gotta clean it I would ha I have been doing tons of um, Christmas ornaments pet Christmas ornaments um, they were really a big hit this year which is great and then I have all the materials that I use for the glow forge so I have clear acrylic I have white acrylic under here I have draft board I have mirror acrylic I have these cutting boards that I eventually want to get into products for uh, like you know bridal shower gifts home, uh, housewarming gifts all that jazz we have some miscellaneous canvases because I'm very artistic and I like to paint I like to just create so I always like to have certain supplies when I'm feeling inspired you know um, I forgot to show you guys in here um, we have all of my vinyl which I usually put in one of these cubbies but now they're all full with main vinyl so like if I open a piece of if I open a certain color of vinyl I'll put it in here and that means that it's open there is at least one in here so if I can't find it in here ugh, I go over there which is but my like back shelf, you know, extra vinyl, vinyl inventory. Um, these are just empty boxes. We have nothing but cards and stationery. Uh, stationery, 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 stationery. This is just black construction paper, white construction paper, and then we have some boxes, and then we have some miscellaneous um, acrylic for table numbers and that's that we also have more acrylic right here i'm very into acrylic i make mostly acrylic items ah! we have <clears throat> we have all the inventory for vinyl like i said i always buy vinyl when it's on sale so i buy it in bulk so if they have like a 40 percent off cricket vinyl i buy a bunch that way i don't have to be like strapped for vinyl and then I keep it in my little vinyl inventory thing right here this is nothing but jewelry making so this is all jewelry stuff I used to own a Etsy shop which was a jewelry store where we sold uh, gold filled jewelry I really loved it I eventually want to get back into it my mom is a much better jewelry maker than I am but we have like little 
We, if you can't even see it, but we have little tiny charms of the Eiffel Tower with a little rhinestone at the bottom. We have a bunch of stuff in here. Um, we have these little rhinestones. We have these cute little rhinestones. I eventually will get back into jewelry making. Um, it is something that I loved. I closed down the Etsy shop because I just wasn't getting a lot of sales and I was like, all right, let me stop doing this right now. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I started a jewelry company. Uh, oh God, I think it was in like 2016. I want to say and I was on Etsy for a while didn't get any orders and well okay I can't say I didn't get any orders I got like maybe 30 or 40 orders uh, but it didn't really take off the way I wanted it to so I thought to myself okay let me close down the shop let me regroup let me figure out what I should be doing um, and then the Quinn and Company was born and I kind of, not that I forgot about jewelry making, I've always wanted to get back into jewelry making. It's just, it's a super competitive market. So eventually maybe one day I'll get back into it once I get a really good business plan for it. But right now I'm focused on the Quinn and Company. So I will possibly incorporate jewelry into the Quinn and Company, but not at the ver not at the current moment. So have um, these are my cards that I would use, and I would put the the um, here. Actually, let me show you what I would do. So the jewelry that we were making was sterling silver jewelry and also gold filled jewelry, which there's a difference between gold filled and gold plated. Gold filled is the closest thing you can get to 100% gold. Um, or 10 karat gold or just flawless gold. So that's what we were selling. This is how it would be packaged. So you would give it as a gift. Don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. And there were mom, there were ones like that I made for mom for Mother's Day. Mom, thank you for always loving me even when I'm not so lovable. May this necklace say thank you because so much of me is made from you, made from what I learned from you. So yeah, I thought they were very heartfelt. I just didn't make a ton of sales. Uh, life is tough, my darling. God, is this staying in focus? Yeah, and this one said, stay pretty, be educated, dress well, act kind. May this necklace remind you to attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect, and mirror what you admire. Look at how pretty this one is. It's like a little crown, but it is a little stone. Cubic zirconia, little uh, connector piece, and then two little cubic zirconian butterflies. And it said, if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. May these butterflies give you the wisdom to know what needs to be done and the courage to do it. Eventually I'll go back to it. What do you guys think? Should I go back to selling jewelry as well? Because it was something that I really loved. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, and so over here we have the trash. We have more vinyl that's all vinyl underneath there we have some vinyl we have some foiling for cards and this little um, paper cutter and then we have labels these labels are from online labels and this is how i make my stickers i have white and then i have clear labels right here these are the clear this is the white and then some miscellaneous boxes and the little thing to put in the mink machine which is like a protector. You put it, you put the card inside the sleeve and then you put it through the mink machine. That way, like nothing gets caught up in the mink machine. All right, what else can I show you? So then we have this drawer filled with miscellaneous stuff. Um, we got tissue paper, we have wax, wax sealers, which I will eventually use, some hooks. Um, these things my mom bought because she uh, wants to try and engrave on them. Uh, I'm not really sure, but she wants to try and do that, so she bought those. We have 3M adhesive, which is what I use in order to put those letters on those boards. Uh, maybe I'll show you that on uh, a video, upcoming video. We have some coasters. We have some keychain hooks. This is another bag that my mom wants to try and engrave. We have these little hooks for luggage tags that I am going to be making luggage tags. I'll actually show you. They're over. Um, 
they're over there somewhere, somewhere over there. And that's that drawer. And then we got some, then we got some, um, then we got some picture frames. This is the miscellaneous uh, cupboard, basically. This is ribbon. Uh, this is lace. This is mainly paint. And then we got a random, we got a random electric, we got a random electric balloon pump to uh, possibly make some balloon garland. Uh, I actually made balloon garland for my sister-in-law's baby shower. I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see. Uh, it came out really good. It was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave, I'll put this in the description too. I'll put as many links as I could possibly can find for things that I see in this studio when I'm editing in the description. Um, I have this, uh, laminator which is an Amazon basic which also worked really well before I got the mink machine so if you're looking wanting to get into foiling cards I would tell you to try this Amazon laminator first it was only like $30 but I keep it just in case I need to laminate anything um, this is just a miscellaneous toolbox oh this is an LED strip light which yeah we got some foam we got some polyurethane some tacky glue some more picture frames some foam i mean remember a lot of this stuff is my mom and eyes because we both are crafters so she makes like certain things for the house like curtains or pillows so she'll put some of the stuff the miscellaneous stuff in here so we got um foam we have lace this lace was actually for my mom's etsy shop she used to make custom garters we have wire in here. This is bendable wire for my mom's Etsy shop. When she first started Etsy, she used to make those wire coat hangers, um, KTQ Creations, that's what her name was. Then we have like beads, like pearls, and we have, these are more pearls, and then we have uh, like beads. Uh, real crystals so this these might be no these are just beads <laughs> and then we have more just beads and more studs and beads and studs so yeah we basically have a whole Joanne fabrics in this in this bitch um, Um, this, this is all, uh, body paint and special effects paint because I used to, you know, do makeup and special effects in a random phone case in here. I have no idea. Clearly I did not clean for you guys. Um, we've got, we've got a random veil. We have some, um, little pocket uh bags baggies that you can customize we have a tape measure i've been looking for this tape measure everywhere let's take that out um we got oh hello we have We have a Lex, we have a Lex and Lombardi stamp from when I was doing the jewelry. We have a random uh, wooden seating number, table number. Uh, we have here mainly like these are all pliers from when we were doing jewelry making. This is all jewelry making material. Um, wire cutters, needle nose pliers. These are wire cutters for it really helped with certain um, wires and chains that we were using when we were doing jewelry making. This is all miscellaneous um like paperwork or construction paper, this DIY brides, which uh, one of my friends gave me a really long time ago, which is ironic. And, but this was before I even started the Quinn and Company, which is ironic. Uh, we have tape, we have more wires. This is nothing, oh. This is nothing but glue and Mod Podge, any kind of glue that you can think of, super glue liquid nails, little dots, uh, more Mod Podge, wood glue. This is a, a spray adhesive, more spray adhesive. 
um, fabric glue, all purpose glue, nothing but glue. <laughs> This is nothing but glue guns and glue sticks. And so that is the miscellaneous drawer. This is Marilyn. This is the lovely Marilyn. I actually got this for free. Someone was throwing this out. So I was like, I'll take it. And I spray painted it silver and then put a Marilyn Monroe dress on it after Halloween one year because I was Marilyn Monroe. And then I put this on the mannequin because I made this for a YouTube video. It's like my DIY bride um, YouTube video. It's actually still on my YouTube if you want to go check it out. This is nothing but cleaning products um, for certain projects that I'm using. You need to clean them, especially if you're using it in the Glowforge because there's some kinds like soot and just like um, weird material on it. So clean it uh, before I ship it. This is all like labels and mailers and just regular pieces of paper. So this is like just paper, boring stuff. Um, uh, these are recycling, these are my recycling bins, pretty self-explanatory. This one is busting at the seams <laughs> that I need to take out. This is my miscellaneous jewelry that doesn't have a card on it. It needs to be cleaned. Like I said, I want to eventually get in back into, uh, jewelry. So I don't want to throw out any of this stuff because it's, it's good usable stuff. So I will eventually get back into it. Um, this is my little this is my little uh drawing case that I would bring because I was a graphic design student uh when I first went to college and then I switched my major to marketing <laughs> fun fact so I still have all my college drawings in here uh this is actually my wedding my personal wedding sign that I used for my own wedding it says Nicholas and Alexa I keep it there because I don't know it's sentimental and then let's go over here then we have the workspace. Then we have the workspace, which is the main working area. We have nothing but old t-shirts in here and rags because with acrylic, you never want to use paper towels because it scratches the acrylic. So you always want to use something a little softer. So whenever I have a old t-shirt, instead of throwing it away, I put it in here. That way I can reuse it. Um, this is nothing but wires and miscellaneous technical stuff. This is all scraps, but it is the Oracle scraps. This is the main working space. So what I have on here are uh, scissors, a paintbrush, which I use pretty frequently, um, random markers, all my little weeding tools that I use. Uh, these, This is a ribbon stand because I've been doing a lot of ornaments for the holidays, so I just keep those there. That way I can just kind of roll it and cut it. I just stacked them on a pen. So, yeah. These are, you know, the little squeegees in order to get the vinyl on. We got some transfer tape. We have more squeegees. Uh, we have this little guy. We have this little guy just in case I want to switch out my camera, which is what you're currently on, on the tripod so I can make some TikTok videos. Um, I have a lighter for the edges of the ribbon so they don't fray. These are the best solutions to use on acrylic. You can find, I found this one on Amazon, um, and then you can also find this one on Amazon. I'll leave these in the description. This is a light leveler so I can get certain things that I put on anything to be nice and super straight. And we have this box with, I was testing out the size of this with this uh, luggage tag, which I was showcasing the, the actual connector to, but this acrylic luggage tag, I messed up on it. This is just a sample. This is no, this is a random person. So don't worry about me showcasing the address. It's a random made up name. I have no idea. I just made up the road. I don't even know if this is a real street. It's just fake so I can put it on the shop, but I messed up a little bit. So this is was my first run at this luggage tag, which I really enjoy. I think it's super cute and chic. Then we have magnif magnification reading glasses for my mom when she's here because she needs them. And we have some business cards. These are the cards that I put in every order. It says when you buy from a small business, an actual person does a little happy dance. And uh, some mailers, and then we have 
And then we have some sticker sheets, which is how I seal some of the orders in order to have a little bit of branding. And then I have my little um, Cricut steamer heat press for little tiny things. And then I have the big heat press for bigger t-shirts, which is why I have the t-shirts over here which is why I have the t-shirts over here in order to do it. This is miscellaneous locks, and then I have miscellaneous uh, vinyl, some boxes. These are all uh, not back shelf, but like extra locks that I will eventually use, but they're, in I guess, inventory locks. <laughs> and then we have all of the acrylic. So we have black acrylic, white acrylic, this is clear acrylic, and then just some miscellaneous cardboard just in case I need to use anything for shipping or packaging. We also have a bunch of easels uh, for rentals or if someone bought a sign locally and or family friend that needs a uh, that needs an easel there it is and then let's get to this big guy and then I think I've shown you everything so these lanterns I actually got for my own wedding uh, they were actually Christmas easels and they had a cute little Christmas like you know, design on the glass, which I actually took off with Goo Gone, and I got them on sale because it was after Christmas. So I bought a bunch of them for my own personal wedding, and uh, I keep them just in case anyone needs to use them or anything. And then this is another necklace from Lex and Lombardi, which I will eventually get into. This is a crystal my mom bought a really long time ago from, I have no idea where she bought it, but she gave it to me, and I was like, oh, thanks, mom. This is my this is my Nana and my grandfather on my mom's side on their wedding day. That's my Nana. Hey, Nana. Love ya. This is a new product. These are ring boxes, double wall ring boxes uh, that we are eventually going to be putting on the shop. We have navy blue, emerald green, dusty rose, Tiffany blue, dusty blue, uh, black, and white. So... Eventually I will get those on the site. I am just working on the design portion of it. So what you put on top and yeah. And then in this drawer we have locks because if you guys don't know, I sell uh, card boxes and they lock for weddings or you know other gatherings. And we have these heart shaped locks. So we have rose gold, we have gold locks, we have brush gold locks we have um, silver locks and we also have in this drawer regular silver padlocks and then regular padlocks in gold well not, that's not gold that has a little film on it in gold so that's what we include with the card boxes that lock a lock for you to lock at your you know wedding party, whatever, when someone's giving gifts and cards, because, you know, a lot of the times at weddings, you are getting a lot and lot of money. So you want to make sure that you are being careful and making sure that they lock. So that's how I got into selling card boxes because I couldn't find one personally for my own wedding. So I actually had to make my own and then it went on from there. So, um, all right. So then we have packaging. This is completely empty because I've sold so many ornaments. Normally they have these big poly mailers, um, but I don't have any more because I've sold out of them. I'm eventually getting them. They should be here on Monday so I can ship out all the other orders. It is Sunday, so I can't even go to the I can't even go to the mailbox anyway or the post post office anyways. So uh, we have more contact paper. We have scraps down below. This is all separate. This is all separated by the colors most used. So I mainly use gold brush, gold metallic, silver metallic, and rose gold. Itch. This is rose gold. So I keep those there because I don't want to get rid of the scraps. I think it's wasteful. And sometimes my designs call for a smaller, a smaller, you know, design. So sometimes I just use scraps instead of cutting off a brand new piece of vinyl because this is a perfectly good piece of vinyl. Uh, it just needs to be used for the proper project. So I keep them. The, this is my inventory for my clutches. So this is a clutch, 
This is what it would look like. You could get a sentimental date in Roman numerals on it, or you could get your uh, future last name on it, or you could get uh, your future last name like that, or you could do <laughs> your, your uh, Roman numerals like this. I love how the silver glitter came out and then has a silver metallic border. I think this looks so rich. Oh, love it. And then, so yeah, those are all my inventory for purses. This is my inventory for um, uh, acrylic cake toppers. But now that I have the Glowforge, I bought these a long time ago uh, and I bought them in bulk. But now that I have the Glowforge, I can just make these myself. So I just make them myself now. This is heat pressing vinyl. So anything that you see on shirts or any kind of fabric. So this box is dedicated to heat transfer vinyl. This is miscellaneous glassware. Then I have more stationery. This is a fresh, oh, this is a fresh luggage tag. I love how this came out. This is also a made-up person on a made-up street in a non-made-up place, but I don't know if there is an actual Frank that's living at 344 Hanover. So I have no idea. This is a fake person that I am eventually going to put on the site. I just looked up fake addresses, fake people in order to make a luggage tag. Cause obviously you don't want to put a real person in their real address. That's a little weird. And so then we have, we have my cute little thank you card that I used for my own wedding. That's us. Uh, I keep that there for inspiration and also because I like it. So <laughs> um, this is a uh, tester. This was a tester for a picture for a photo shoot. This is our cute rhinestone padlock. I love how this came out with the silver glitter. This is another possible purse that I might be putting on. I think it's really cute for... Um, I think it's really cute for like honeymoon or vacation, like a clear acrylic purse with your new last name on it, or maybe something in Roman numerals. I think it'd be really cute. These are more bags for uh, bridesmaids gifts. Then we have a seating number, which I made for my friend Kelly's wedding at Willowdale Estate. It came out really cute and I will eventually um, make these to rent out and also put on the shop. We have another mock-up with our gold padlock and then we have a signature cocktail drink list for Kelly's wedding. Um, as you can see, Kelly and Greg's. I will eventually put this on the shop. Let me know what you guys think I should focus on. What should I put on the shop? As you can see, I have a lot of ideas and I need to get everything all settled. Um, this is a wine box that I got from my old job when I was working as a bartender at Mastro's. And then we have uh, more locks. These are our heart shape rhinestone locks. And then we also have our rhinestone padlocks. And then we also have uh, pink heart shape locks and then we also have red heart shape locks and then this is a tool drawer this is a miscellaneous tool drawer of uh things for the silhouette um extra keys um labels a pipe a copper pipe cutter all that jazz and i think that's it I think you guys have seen literally everything in this studio. So that's my studio tour. Hopefully it's not super long, but uh, I, I love my studio. I love everything in here. It's really a creative space that I love. What is up with my blush? My God. But yeah, that is my creative space. It's a lot. I am not someone, I'm not a girl that has like an exuberant amount of clothes or an exuberant amount of shoes, or I'm not someone that would love a closet full of designer goods. Granted, that'd be cool. But uh, the main thing that I really love and gravitate towards is arts and crafts. I love doing, making something or designing something. It's something that I truly love and that's what this space is for. It's somewhere that I can escape to and just feel creative and that's why I designed it. Granted, okay, remember, I started this studio like over seven years ago. So this is like seven years of accumulation of arts and crafts and also it's not just mine, it's also my mom's because we are both arts and crafts crafters uh yeah it's our 
when someone asks me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want, I said, I want to be a professional arts and crafts maker. That's what I want to be. <laughs> and that's what I kind of feel like I am. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, tell me what your favorite part about my studio is. I would love to hear it. And yeah, I hope that you would be able to create somewhat of a creative space. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is my actual childhood bedroom. So if you stayed that long, you guys get to know what this place was. It was actually my childhood bedroom. So if you go back to like my room tour, you can see it's the same room. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate it so much. So I will see you guys later and... Bye.